Woodwinds SFX is a collection of solo and ensemble woodwind instruments performing clusters, aleatoric effects, and other advanced articulations. They're recorded on a full tonal range, so these instruments are very playable and flexible. These unusual sounds are a very useful complement to the regular Berlin woodwinds, adding a wide range of interesting spices and colors to edge your compositions into experimental territory. So what instruments are actually creating these effects? We have a solo flute and a piccolo, as well as a flute ensemble. This consists of three flutes that switch to piccolo flutes on their way up through the register. You also get a clarinet and a bassoon instrument. As a special bonus, we've provided the Carver's Low Bassoon Ensemble. So you can see, it's not the choice of instruments here that make this collection special. It's a fairly regular woodwind section. It's all about what these instruments are actually doing. All the instruments are recorded with orchestral tools, standard Teldex setup of microphones, as well as the tried and trusted in situ recording concept. So this collection blends perfectly into the Berlin series orchestra, the Metropolis Arc series, or any other orchestral tools collection recorded at Teldex. Let's get started with the flutes. We recorded flutter tongue articulations, and we even gave them playable legato intervals. The flutter tongue playing technique is not your typical melodic sound, but it can provide some special spice to certain phrases, and it's great for special effects, especially when played harmonically. Here's an example. For textural effects, we have bendings and some aleatoric articulations. We also have a set of modern advanced articulations such as harmonics, jet whistles, and tongue slaps. For flourishes, accents, and transitions, we also have a set of short rips and runs articulations. So, as every composer knows, if you need something strident with ultimate cut-through power, choose the piccolo. This piccolo is no exception. It has a similar set of articulations to the ones we just heard.
Let's move on to the flute ensemble. When we were recording the aleatoric articulations, the musicians were able to interact with each other during the performances. The result is a particularly rich and colorful selection of sounds. This is also a good opportunity to take a look at the mixer and listen to the individual mic positions. Next up, the clarinet. Here, as with the flutes, we recorded the flutter tongue technique with legato. We also recorded glissando transitions. This is a special technique on the clarinet, most famously used on the opening call of Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. This only works on a certain register on the clarinet and should be used sparingly for special effects. Let's also listen to the aleatoric performances and rips for the clarinet. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We also have a bassoon with a similar set of articulations. Last but not least, we turn to the admittedly slightly oddball Carver's Low Bassoon Ensemble. This is a section of three bassoons and three contrabassoons playing in a fairly aggressive style. The goal here was to create a sound that can cut through even dense orchestral textures easily, despite being focused on the very low register. And this ensemble certainly delivers. Here too, you get sustains and shorts with basic legato transitions, but things get especially interesting with the cluster and aleatoric articulations. So, together with the rips, you get a colorful set of articulations here. And using these sounds, you can create some highly intense performances. Here's everything working together. <laughs> There you have it.
We hope this gives you a clear overview of what these experimental sounds have to offer, and perhaps these sounds can inspire a walk on the wild side for your next compositions.